do you know that the vagina clean itself daily? If you don't know, at least you know now. Um, my name is Sally and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic, I'm going to talk about 10 tips to keep a vagina cleaner and healthier. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. The first thing you should always remember is to trim the hair around your vagina. You should trim the hair around your vulva to keep the vagina clean, to avoid bacteria accumulation in that area, and also to avoid itchiness, vaginal itchiness around that area. It's very important to trim the hair. And when trimming the hair, I know some people use scissors. And when using scissors, you should be very, very, very careful when using the scissors so that you cannot cut yourself. And the second thing is uh, shaving the hair around your, your your vagina. I know there are some people who don't like trimming the hair. They prefer it shaving the hair around the vagina. It's okay. You can also clean the. Uh, you can also shave the hair around your vagina. But when shaving the hair, there is a technique to use when when shaving the hair around your vagina. The first thing you should also remember: you should shave the hair on the direction of the hair growth. For example, if the hair is going in this direction, you should shave it like this. You should you should shave like this, not on the opposite direction. Why not the opposite direction? The reason is because when you shave on the opposite direction, there will be a lot of pimples going in that area, and you should you should uh, you can have those itchinesses around the area, and you may not be that comfortable. You may have that discomfort. So it's very important to when shaving the hair, you shave along the direction of the hair growth. Uh, the third thing is the type of the type of panty to wear. I know some people wear different type of panty on different occasions, but it's very important to wear the cotton type of panty. Why the cotton type of panty? The cotton type of panty is very important because it allows hair in and out of the vagina. It allows air in and out of the vagina. That helps the to prevent the accumulation of bacteria around the, the vagina. You know other other type of panty when you hear when you wear them there is a lot of heat around the vagina and that will interfere with the pH and the uh, the pH of the vagina and also it will interfere with the normal flora around the vagina which may create bacteria infection or the yeast infection. So it's very important to wear the cotton type of of panty. And the other thing is uh, you should always have a personal hygiene, especially when a girl ha uh, when a lady is having a menses you should always change your pant regularly. Don't wait until the pant is fully shocked. You should change your pant after some hours you go and change your pant so that you can prevent the uh, creating some infection around your vagina. When washing yourself, you should avoid scrubbing. You should avoid scrubbing around the vagina. Around the vagina. When washing yourself, when to prevent some injuries and also to prevent uh, to prevent the, some bruises around the vagina. You know the vagina is very soft, so you should always be gentle when cleaning that area with a soft object. Uh, the other thing is when washing yourself around the vagina, you should not use any type of soap. You should clean the vagina with only clean water. Don't use any type of a soap. Clean the vagina with only clean water. The reason behind that is when you clean the vagina with soap, it also will interfere with the, the normophora of the vagina and also the pH of the vagina. And that's when you get some some other condition or other infection around the vagina, like the like the vaginal cardiasis. It's because of the interference with the pH and the, the normophora of the vagina. So when washing the, uh, the vagina, you should only use the clean clean you should always use the clean water and the other thing is the hard hygiene the hard hygiene you should wash your hands when touching your vagina and this is probably when you have it in the intercourse i know there are some men who used uh, who like figuring your vagina when having the intercourse and you should advise them when they want to finger your your vagina they should wash their hands before doing that because when they interfere when they they finger with dirty hands they can create a lot of infection around the vagina so they should wash their hand they should use the hard hygiene and the other thing is when you should wash your vagina or you should wash your body 
before and after having sex you should wash your body before and after having sex is this is because uh, this that that sharing of friends uh, the sharing of sweat and the sharing of the semen uh, which can interfere with the with the hygiene of the vagina so you should always clean your body before and after having sex so that to prevent some infection the other thing is uh, you so there are some so there are some food that help you to keep the vagina healthier and cleaner the those type of food there is uh, there's vegetables uh, there's fruit uh, there's soya and there's yogurt when you take those t- type of food or you when you drink like yogurt it will help the the, the vagina to be clean and uh, it's very important to use those kind of things so that to make the your vagina to be healthier the last and not the least it is very important to do a pap smear a pap smear is when a doctor does a checkup inside your vagina to check if there's any abnormalities inside there the doctor will use a spectrum to check if there is any abnormalities around the cervix and inside the vagina it's very important to do that because if there's any abnormalities inside the vagina the doctor will guide you to do other tests to, to confirm if there's any 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 serious condition inside the vagina so it's very important to do uh, pap smear once a year or once in two years for your checkup for your own health uh, that's all i had for today and thank you so much for watching and if you are new to the channel please remember to subscribe and if you have already subscribed thank you so much peace